Hello and welcome to Raid Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some Red Hot news for you today and our first topic of the video, Zoto Abantu never broke up with her Ben 10. Look, I will say this, I along with a lot of people thought that Zoto Abantu and her Ben 10, Olifile, Ricardo were no longer an item. But recently we were surprised to learn that the two are still romantically involved. Now a video where Zoto Abantu was seen breastfeeding Ricardo was posted on her Instagram and needless to say a lot of people were shocked, myself included. Now the video has since been removed on Instagram, don't know why, perhaps maybe it is some violations of sorts. But yeah, I mean, going back to about August, the two were reportedly separated and were planning to take restraining orders against each other. Now, sources have revealed to the papers that Zoto Abantu took Ricardo back after they sorted out their issues. So this is what the snitch said on the article. She dumped Ricardo, not because she ran out of love for him, but they had a fight and she told him that she didn't love him anymore. She was ready to move on with her life. But after Ricardo pleaded with her not to leave him she changed her mind and put their differences aside love always wins Aww, ain't that just sweet now also at the time there were reports that the two had filed restraining orders against each other look going off those reports you would have been under the impression that things were nasty between the two of them but another snitch came through on the article and said that Zotwa and Ricardo did not submit any restraining order forms. So this is what the second snitch had to say. They were both given forms to fill in and return but after they spoke and reconciled, they decided not to submit them. They love each other. That's why they have tattoos of each other on their bodies. I mean, I didn't know that uh, Zotwa and uh, Ricardo have tattoos. I guess everyone's getting tattoos these days. I'm, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. In fact, I should be asking you guys, when are you getting tattoos with your bae? But moving right along, the papers do claim that they did contact Zoto Abantu who said that we had the wrong information about their separation. This is what Zoto is quoted as saying, we never broke up, we've always been together. Now she also touched on the restraining orders and I suppose they fight and said it was just an act. This is what she goes on to say, we were shooting a reality TV show and supporting the call against gender based violence. That's what we were doing. We are, hap we are happy to get now I'm gonna pause right here and go on a very short left and tell you this is why I'm not a big fan of South African reality shows because at the end of the day Zoto Abantu just says that, that it was all an act they were shooting for a reality show I mean those words reality show and it was all an act for the reality show should not be in the same sentence I mean at the end of the day you're just confirming that your reality show is all staged the only thing real about Zoto Abantu's reality show is she is really bad at acting like it's real but yeah like i said i'm not a big fan of south african reality shows in fact the only reality show that i would recommend is umnagwe too in the words of the great musam seleku kapela reality is that gens do deserve a second wife <laughs> but moving swiftly along the article do go on to say that Zoto Abantu gave them the phone numbers of Ricardo who confirmed what she was saying. Apparently he said, I am happy, I'm always happy. Now also Zoto Abantu actually talked about the removal of her video with Ricardo on Instagram and said that it was an act of jealousy. This is what she said exactly. Someone jealous of our relationship reported the video and it was removed. So according to what Zoto Abantu is saying over there, it was removed for some violation. Someone reported the video and Instagram them themselves removed it it wasn't her so i suppose the question is why are you jealous seeing zoto abantu and her ben 10 now before we move on to the next topic please do me a huge favor if you do enjoy the content here on red live do give this video a huge thumbs up it does help out a lot and also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads
Our next topic, Tabsi and husband celebrate seven years. Singer Tabsi is one of the few South African celebrities who are not shy to celebrate their love on social media. Now, the singer recently celebrated her seven-year anniversary with her husband. Now, she took to Instagram to share the good news with her fans. And this past Sunday on the 27th of November, the 30-year-old singer shared how loving her partner is and how incredible it is to be with him. Look, if there were ever couple goals, these are them. And yet, yeah, Tapsi also said that she wishes to spend many, many more years with her husband. So she posted the following black and white pictures and captioned them. Loving you has shown me what my heart can really do. Seven years deep and it keeps getting deeper. Happy anniversary. Oh, ain't that just sweet. But yeah, definitely happy seven year anniversary to them. Uh, may they get seven more years. Hey, 70 more years. 700 is too much of a stretch, I think. But hey, maybe some people believe that you continue your marriage in the afterlife. So why not 700? Our next topic, celebrities weigh in on Sonia Mpele's son abuse scandal. Actress Sonia Mpele trended when news of her son Donnell Mpele allegedly abusing his ex-girlfriend became a trending topic. Now, people added their different opinions, especially looking looking at Sonia's past with Donnell's father. Now, in a statement, Sonia revealed that she had sent her son to rehab and would allow the law to take its course. She also showed support to the ex-girlfriend, the girl who exposed Donnell. Now, Sonia Mpele was praised for her honesty when it came to that statement and her openness in her views about the situation as some might take their children's side. Now, some also criticized the fact that she had sent her son to rehab instead of handing him over to the authorities I suppose. But nonetheless, the ex-girlfriend did state that she had reported the matter to the police. So I suppose the arrest, if people are looking for that, might follow. But getting back to the topic at hand, celebrities have weighed in on the issue and some have even questioned Donnell's upbringing. So Manaka Ranaka posted the following. Did she just ask why? When an abusive man sees he is a danger to you or society and wants to let go either to get help or just be away from what turns him into to a monster let him go allow him the space to go fix himself don't ask why when you know he's almost killed you now of course i'm assuming this is more in response to the screenshot that was actually shared apparently donnell was saying you know what i, I just want to stay away from you because i nearly killed you and the ex-girlfriend was asking why i suppose somewhat sympathizing with him perhaps trying to convince him not to let the relationship end even though he's been abusive now Manaka Ranaka also goes on to say there was a father at some point and he failed dismally. It's no longer about the absentism of daddies but about what they do in the presence of their kid. Sometimes the perfect family is mom and her kids because of how toxic and abusive father is. Vice versa. Can we start calling out the real problem? I can only imagine how this boy would have turned out if he was raised by both a battered mom and abusive dad under the same roof. Maybe there'd be no Sonia no more. There was another comment from Lihasa Muloy. If we were getting honest, an abusive father isn't a father at all. So despite that man having contributed sperm, Sonia neither had a bad husband nor did this boy have a real example of what a man should be. I agree that toxicity isn't something to live with, but the demise of the real family unit is to blame for most of society's problems. And I don't put that on the single mother. I was raised by one, a beautiful champion i celebrate the single mother in the presence of a real father this wouldn't happen so yeah apparently you can turn into your parents parents sometimes look i i don't know about this personally i was raised by a single mother and from what i remember as well as what my mother has told me about the old man i am pretty much the complete opposite of the old man my younger brother on the other hand who does not even have any experience living with my father apparently according to my mom anyway allegedly uh he's just like my dad well actually he's apparently even worse so there's that in essence what i'm trying to say over here is that sometimes it's not really even about the upbringing sometimes it's just the individual themselves that's who they are but moving right along there was also a comment from zola hastings who wrote these kids are not even 25 and already in toxic relationships is this a sign of how we are raising them or does the fact of coming from an abusive family play a part where did we go wrong is it pure evilness meet donel Mpele, accused of abusing Ri the world is too much with us. 
Look, for me personally, I think everything plays a part, but at the end of the day, it's choices. It all comes to individual choices. What do you choose to do and be as a person? But getting back to the rehab stuff, uh, Sonia Mbele actually spoke to Drum Magazine and clarified that her son is already in rehab. Now, in the article, she says, this didn't happen on Tuesday. It happened on the 4th of November, and I immediately sent my son to rehab the following day. So by the time this became public, he was already away look i will say this i've seen on social media some people are saying that why did she hand him over to a rehab center instead of handing him over to the police i will say this at the end of the day she took steps she took a measure she did something instead of sitting idle and trying to bury the whole incident our next topic, Cyan Bougie on the defense over her BBL. Look, a recent picture of influencer and DJ Cyan Bougie's Brazilian butt lift, her BBL, has left many tongues wagging on social media. Now, Twitter users have since expressed their disappointments following how Cyan Bougie talks a big game about her newfound body. Look, Twitter users did not show Cyan any mercy as they dragged her for the picture on social media. Now, according to the reports anyway, Cyan Bougie has gone under the knife twice in an attempt to correct her body, I suppose, but Twitter users feel as though those two efforts were all in vain. Now, Twitter users have expressed their disappointment at the DJ and influencer's body. Now, recently, Twitter users also raised concerns of Cyan Bougie's eating habits after her BBL. We did a video about that. I mean, if you do want to watch it, do check the previous video. But yeah, taking a look at the picture itself, a user actually posted on social media and captioned it guys let's tell cyan bougie the truth yo i mean wtf look look guys just no, just look honestly <laughs> just look at the picture and uh make up your own mind i'm not going to tell you what i think about it i mean it's it's a shape it's a shape uh it's not the figure it's is it an a I don't, it's a shape it's a shape nonetheless yeah so taking a look at other people who actually do have something to say because i'm just at a loss for words i suppose another user actually came through replied to this and wrote i am such a big cyan bougie fan but i have to agree with you on this yes it's her body and she can do as she pleases but the doctor really messed her up too much fat was taken from her waist and i don't even know where to start with the hips ish i was looking forward looking forward to what <laughs> Another user wrote, Cyan had a gorgeous body, man. She should have just gone on a diet to get rid of the belly. I remember first coming across her profile two years ago and man, she didn't need the BBL. Look, I do agree with what that user is saying over there. I mean, the first time I also came across Cyan Bougie on social media, I thought she looked good. And uh, yeah, I mean, a diet, sometimes diet don't work for everyone. Is that is the thing about a diet, I think. You know, maybe she tried dieting and saw that, you know what, the progress is not what she was expecting and was heard about the BBL and decided to go for it. Another user wrote, you guys are saying Cyan Bougie is 21. She must be the first batch at this gone which you give to the kids because there's no way now i will say this you know cyan bougie is actually not taking all the nasty comments lying down as she has taken to her instagram to put all her trolls on blast for their comments on her new body now cyan took to her instagram to make it clear that she will not tolerate the hate first she posted an updated image of her bbl well this picture which she captioned you will never reach me even w your hands out she then took to her Instagram stories to deal with her trolls one by one. First, she started off with the following disclaimer. Anyways, I'm not a girl to address situations. But anyways, I just want to say thank you so much for the compliments over my recent picture. I love it so much. It's so amazing. And I definitely do see a difference. It's crazy. I love how I look. When I look in the mirror, I'm happy for almost paying 200k, man. Okay. So, but anyways, now I realized that the next negative comments are really from zero following zero followers and i'm also like the people that comment that are not private how do you have the audacity to comment that you are not happy with my body while wow, you look like this she then went on to post some of the users that commented on her body this is number one this is number two number three eh? number three not too bad 
and Cyan wrote Baby Girl Trying to Break Her Neck to Try and Look Like Cyan. Gorgeous. This one Cyan wrote, I don't know what to say. Wishing you a healthy pregnancy though. By the way, this is her only pick. Probably the best from 2022. <laughs> the next one, uh, okay, this one she wrote, it's giving Beyonce hourglass and jet shout out. The next one she wrote, baby girl had the most to say. So pretty, I guess, is make sure ne, your ass doesn't even exist with uh, some crying emojis. And then this one she posted, yes girl, now I personally love you, your comments have the worst hate and it makes sense. <laughs> Some uh, sarcasm over there. She then posted this one, hi my fave, I don't care if I should start from head to toe or vice versa, I'm doing wig giveaways next week. And this one she commented, it's giving summer body, I love it for you. <laughs> summer body, I'm summer in winter na lady over there. And then this one she wrote, couch and door is giving old age. Wabona Huri, you have so much to work on, Mara. Leave me, please. And lastly, she wrote, my loves, let's be fair and not go private and delete comments. Be bold. Look, like I said, Cyan definitely did not take all the nasty comments lying down. She fetched them one by one, one by one. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.